the best way to find out about a new city or country is to get on the public bus. Get on the public bus and just go and uh, get lost and you'll find uh, the most interesting things. So I just take uh, any bus line I can find right away when I get to a place and uh, get lost and then I find something spectacular. Of course, that could also lead to disaster, so <laughs> especially when a, uh, a super class typhoon is on its way. Here we go, finally found the gold. How about some uh, gold plated playing cards or gold dominoes? Right there, looks like it's a uh, gold uh, playing chip. But I'm not sure which casino they're, they're mimicking, but that's kind of cool. There's another look at those uh, gold round playing chips. Those are pretty much for Macau only. Some chopsticks back there, a little spoon, some uh, yuan ba, and uh, there's a gold uh, calligraphy pen. And I'm not sure if they provide gold leaf for the ink or not, but I doubt it. Now we're cooking here in Macau. Uh, there's some more bars. There's a nice looking uh, gold dice. Dominoes, we've got uh, all kinds of bars in all sizes. Prices, uh, they vary, but um, I would say that they're pretty much almost in line with Hong Kong. As far as availability, we'll find out more. We're looking at a colonial building built in 1870. The Dutch and Portuguese were both added here at one time or another, at each other too. <laughs> and uh, as with the rest of Asia, at some point the French, Dutch, German, um, English, etc. had all been up in here. And uh, that's what it's all about. I mean, that's why some of these uh, cultures and subcultures um, act the way they do even today is because of that influence. Right now, um, this evening, in fact, huge uh, typhoon coming in, a super typhoon. Winds clocked at uh, 190 miles per hour outside of the Philippines, and it's coming here tonight. So I may not be able to get off this island if I wait too long. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's on its way. Biggest storm of the year. So uh, wish me luck. So how about Macau money, the peseta? Basically, uh, it's kind of like uh, Hong Kong, where they don't have a central bank. So they issue these notes from the powers that be, which means the uh, private banks that, that uh, are operating here. The note in the back here is Banco da China, and the one in the front is uh, Banco Nacional. Um, those are two of them, and there are a few more. But um, just think of Hong Kong rules for banking. And that's basically what it is. And some of the currency is plastic. Some of it is uh, paper or part cloth. Security features are similar to that of Hong Kong or mainland China. So what does a Mechanese pataka look like? Well, right here, 2007 series. Most of the patakas over time have had some kind of sea with lighthouse and or boats on it because of its history as a Portuguese outpost. But back in the day, the Dutch and the Portuguese were both fighting it out for the rights to Macau and its uh, trading center. And uh, it became what is today a Chinese special zone. So that's the Mechanese Pataka. And there's a small change there. That's 10 avos, which is in Portuguese means 10 cents. Small Pataka. Compared that to the old 1970s Hong Kong dollar. Notice how Queen Victoria is on the old uh, Hong Kong coins and money. And then once the Chinese took over Hong Kong, you stopped seeing Queen Victoria on the money. Get the picture? There's a $10 Hong Kong coin. And another pataka and so on. And I think that's a uh, RMB, it's five, uh, five jiao. So there's a comparison to scale. It's a little bit disconcerting when you're walking around in Macau to hear those three different languages. You hear Mandarin, you hear English, and you hear Portuguese. And sometimes you hear Cantonese, which is uh, totally different sounding in itself. So 
you, you walk around there, you hear four languages. It's a little confusing, but it shows you the mixture of people that are still there. A lot of uh, Filipino and some Spaniards and Portuguese. And I even saw some Brazilian people there because of its connection to that old empire. The food is spicy and the uh, style is a little bit sassy and that's because of its colonial past. So that's Macau.